Patriots from an Iraq's Pines TV. I'm Bonnie Gosson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Thursday, May 6, 2021. Let's go to Annalisa to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Vani. Today in history on May 6, 1954, Sir Roger Bannister was the first person to run a mile in under four minutes. His time of three minutes, 59.4 seconds, Set at Ifley Road Sports Ground in Oxford, England on May 6, 1954, stood as a record for just 46 days, but his place in athletics history was assured. Bannister won gold over the same distance at the 1954 Commonwealth Games. He was knighted by Queen Elizabeth in 1975, earning him the title of Sir and later became a leader neurologist. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Annalicia. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. NASCAR's next-gen car finally arrives. The next-gen car, first proposed in 2018 and originally slated to debut this season until the pandemic delayed it, is a first-of-its-kind collaboration between NASCAR and its partners with everyone focused on the future. All parties had to work for, toward creating a car that served the entire industry. The next-gen also led NASCAR to modern upgrades found on today's streetcars, Rack and pinion steering, independent rear suspension, bigger wheels, and upgraded connectivity to allow for an in-car camera in every vehicle. It's the most significant change to the stock car since the present Car of Tomorrow model was introduced in 2007. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is jerky and cheese sandwich, hummus cup, baby carrots, Fresh pears, mustard, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, this month we'll show that we are FSA ready. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. Teachers, it was awesome seeing your Miami sports outfits yesterday. Today's look is Caribbean theme, and tomorrow teachers will be styling like Jimmy Buffett. And finally, Patriots, tomorrow wraps up Teacher Appreciation Week. So if you haven't already, make sure to take a moment and let your teacher know that you appreciate them. A kind word, thoughtful letter, awesome picture goes a long way. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vonnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 93 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Looks like a rainy day. Finally, some rain to cool us down. Now let's go to for the joke of the day. Thank you, Dean. And here's today's joke of the day. What does Tony Stark eat for breakfast? Iron Brand. Now let's go to Sam for today's breakfast. Thanks, Samuel. That was super funny. Today's birthday girls are Samantha Dilbert and Sharon Bujanda. Happy birthday. Let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations are represent. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Santi Esteban, Miss Pardinas, Miss Samuel, Miss Moraz, Miss Yearwood, Miss Newton, Miss Calabrese, Miss Maynard, and Miss Anaya. You all have the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, what is so delicate that saying its name breaks it? The correct answer to the riddle was, silence. Now for today's riddle, people buy me to eat but never eat me, what am I? Again, people buy me to eat but never eat me, what am I? Teachers, please send your answers to pints.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on tomorrow's morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget to remember, reunite, rise, have a great day.